Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about upgrading Citrix virtual apps and desktop from the current release 2006 to the latest current release 2012 uh, in my home lab environment. Uh, before I start, I just wanted to give a quick rundown on what we are going to be achieving in this video. Uh, so I've got a, I got a Windows uh, Server 2019 in edition 1809 running on in my environment, and I've also be, uh, I've also got you know, most of the roles uh, in installed on just one box and that is just due to the constraint of my lab environment but uh, it's not uh, the best practices to normally be using in your production environment you definitely want to be using an n plus one option for all of the citrix components uh, in your production environment so let's 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 start here yeah. so i've already got uh, uh, my iso downloaded for for uh, 1200 in 2012 on my desktop and I already mounted it as you can only see and as I stated earlier as well all of the components are installed on this one box itself and as soon as I just up clicked on the ISO it's as you can see it's already come up with uh, the components that needs to be upgraded which is the director the license server the storefront and the studio as well so I'm just going to be clicking on the studio and the server components uh, also, as I'm uh, as I'm approaching with the video, I might pause the video for a while, just just for the sake of the machine being a bit slow, uh, so that you guys don't have to wait for the entire. And I'll restart uh, that video back again. So you can see that the upgrade process uh, box has just come up. It's asking me to agree with the uh, software license agreement. Uh, uh, which uh, you just accepted. Uh, you know, prior to that, I also wanted to um, uh, quickly uh, share you um, uh, a link of uh, the upgrade process. It's pretty straightforward, and you should be able to find it uh, on Citrix.docs docs.citrix.com and uh, there's a there's a wonderful uh, uh, flow chart which literally states and shows you 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 know what um, the uh, uh, entire process that needs to be uh, done before upgrading the entire stack. Uh, just if my page loads. So you can see this link up here, which literally states, uh, you know, what's the uh, process that you need to be taking. Uh, I have already done all of the pre-work in my environment. Uh, as I just, as I stated, I've got all of the roles uh, running on one box. I've already taken a snapshot of my box and I've also taken a backup of my uh, databases as well. Uh, so that uh, those are all preliminary steps that needs to be taken prior to you know start the upgrade. I also found out that uh, with the latest version, there is one more new of a new thing that needs to be updated, which is your licensing server. And if your licenses are not updated with the CSS, it's not using the latest version, uh, you would receive an error, uh, which uh, I'm quite sure that I would be able to show you guys you know what I'm referring to as well. So you got to make sure that you re-download those licenses uh, back again from the portal and uh, uh, you know uh, before doing the upgrade as well so uh, yeah let's let's start up and just going to uh, click next and and as you can say that it literally states up uh, you know what uh, what are the prerequisites uh, like you know you've got to back up the delivery controller you know and the sequences that are normally needed as i've already shared that um, uh, document with you which automatically uh, talks about all of these stages so i'm just going to go and state i'm ready to continue and click next and as i stated earlier uh, this is what i was talking to so as you can see that my citrix licensing server is on an older version and the licenses in there are expired so they're not um, uh, you know I i'm using a trial license so you got to make sure that you already have software assurance in place uh, and if they are not, um, uh, you know, uh, downloaded, you got to re-download them once again from the portal and install it uh, before you can proceed uh, with this specific step. But for this uh, video, I'm just going to be ignoring that and I'll just click, let me continue and do a next. 
once once uh, once that's done uh, you know there are few uh, tests that are normally run which are the preliminary side test uh, you can see that I already I already ran the test earlier so you can see that all of my tests are successful and completed you want to make sure that you don't have any errors up here because uh, if there are you want to revisit those errors one and make sure that you're able to you know rectify them before going ahead and, and clicking next uh, we are all good up here so I'm just going to click next uh, uh, set to the defaults uh, to a next I make sure that um, uh, uh, all the ports are already opened I do a next up here and you can see that uh, uh, all the core components uh, on this VM are going to be upgraded which is the delivery controller studio director and license server which I'm happy with I'm just going to click upgrade and at this stage uh, before it normally uh, starts the update it's just stating that you know that uh, once you start it you're not going there's no way you're going to go back yeah so or do an okay to that and the upgrade automatically starts so i'm just going to uh, pause the video up here and back again and you know there will be multiple restarts in between as well so i might regain uh, the video once uh, you know the the entire process is successfully completed as you can see that the setup is just completed and most of my uh, core components of Citrix has been upgraded successfully uh, so I'm just going to close that and uh, and allow it to restart and once it's restarted back I'll resume the video once again as you can see uh, that the server has just been restarted and all of the core components has been upgraded successfully the post install step which is the initialization of studio has just started uh, so I'll just let it run and finish this wizard the initialization of studio has just uh, started as you can normally see and it's asking me to start uh, with an automatic uh, site upgrade which I'll just start this would take a few seconds uh, as it would normally go ahead and upgrade most of the schema connection of the databases at this point I'm using the free edition of SQL Express uh, but uh, you know if you're using up in your production you should always be using SQL uh, server or you know SQL always on cluster which are the best practices from Citrix I'll just let the wizard run and hopefully this should be the last step and I should normally have my studio up and running within the next few minutes and as you can normally see the configuration just completed successfully and I've got my studio up and running uh, and it's been upgraded to uh, 2012 uh, so I hope uh, most of the tests are completed from my end. Uh, thank you everyone for watching this video. Asala Vista from Citrix Sage. Hope you all have a blessed day and a, have a wonderful week ahead. We'll come up with some more latest videos on Citrix. Till then, stay safe.